we were talking about uh, donors choose and uh, how again last year uh, with their help uh, I was able to fund every classroom project in South Carolina in a single day and uh, one of the things I learned later and this made me so happy was that some of the projects that we funded were at my elementary school the one I went to when I was a little kid and which is still there and that really brought back memories for me because that is where my life was completely changed forever in fourth grade by my teacher, Mrs. Katzis. So um, I went back a while ago to my actual classroom, the one she taught me in at Stiles Point Elementary on Michael Drive on James Island, South Carolina, and I sat down with Miss Katzis for the first time in 40 years. Jim? <laughs> Do you believe? Oh my goodness. Hi, Miss Katzis. Oh goodness. I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> Mrs. Keeling is your name now, right? <laughs> correct, All correct. Right. Do you mind if I call you Miss Katzis? I would love it. Because you're gonna be Miss Katzis for the rest of my For life. the rest of your life. <laughs> you were my favorite teacher. Everybody has one teacher that means more to them than anybody else from their childhood, and you were it for me. You see me smiling. I haven't stopped smiling when you say that. It's no, you were, you were my teacher of teachers. And you knew me when I was Steve Colbert. I did. So That's right. What can you tell me about that uh, nine or ten-year-old boy who you taught for one year in the early 1970s? <laughs> Who's Steve Colbert? How about that? One of the brightest students I've ever taught and very clever and your vocabulary was beyond it was amazing please go but on I don't be don't be parsimonious you, please no keep i remember Stephen, that you were quite an avid reader i did which, i really like to read do you see any of of him in me now well there's still a lot of boy in you Stephen, <laughs> in that you really love life you enjoy people uh -huh. and you were dramatic a little bit you know so mm -hmm. the drama still comes out you um gave me a special test after school one day in the spring, I think, of 1974. I've remembered for many years uh, answering f faster than you could push the timer to start it and making you laugh. Oh, yes. And, and wanting to make you laugh again, to see whether I could, see if I could make you laugh every time by how fast I could answer the question. You recorded I me. recorded it on a cassette, little cassette. This, this is the tape. original tape. This is the actual tape. And now you labeled it Stephen Colbert. All right, we'll move to the next test now. And this one is going to be on math. Mm -hmm. If I cut an apple in half, how many pieces will I have? I will have two. Okay, a little faster for me than I thought. John had four pennies, and his mother gave him two more. How many pennies did he have altogether? Six. <laughs> You're too fast. <laughs> I can't believe you saved that tape all these years. I, I hate to disappoint you. I did not have the greatest academic career after you. You were the last teacher I tried for. But as it turned out, everything came out everything wonderful. Everything came out just fine. So the lesson that we're trying to tell you kids out there is that you don't really have to apply yourself. Well, I think you have nope, that. we got it. We got it, I think. I think that's the lesson. <laughs> Before I go, would you do one thing for me? Be glad to. Would you give me this? Oh, Stephen, you are a star. Thank you, Stephen.